Hi everybody, today we're going to create an After Effects title slide effect in PowerPoint. Now if I were to do this in After Effects, it would take a bit of time, including keyframing different elements and getting the animations just right. In PowerPoint, I can actually do it within a minute or so. So we're going to look at the interaction first and then I'll tell you how to do it. So I'll start with this slide. This is a stock photography slide and I want to put a title on the slide. And I want the title to be animated, that it kind of appears on the slide from nowhere and fades in with a very smooth transaction. Let's look at that one more time. And now let's check out how I did that. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this slide. This is how I want the interaction to end up. I want the stock photography to have a text box with an element on the screen. So once I have this in place, the photography and the elements, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. And so this is the end slide. Now I need to start from the beginning. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. This text box, I'm going to put it off screen. And you notice it flies in behind an element. It kind of disappears for a little bit, and then it reappears off screen. And I'll show you how I get that effect. First of all, I'm going to return back to the main slide here. And I have this element. This is a straight connector. It can be a rectangle. It can be a line. But what I'm going to do is go to this format shape then I'm going to bump up the transparency to 100%. And so now if you look at this slide, it looks like only the stock photography. Now there's one element on here that you can't really see, and that is a duplicate of the stock photography that I've cropped down and put on top of the original stock photography. So I just deleted that. I'm going to start this by duplicating the entire stock photography and placing it right on top of the other one. I'm using the guides to place it exactly. And then I'll go ahead and crop this down. And I'm going to crop it. For now, I'll just crop it off to the side because I want to grab that straight connector again. And I'm going to go format shape. I'm going to bump down the transparency just so that I can get this to, to work with. I'm going to go to crop again and I'm gonna crop this just so that it's to the side of the straight connector. Now this gives me a cropped image that the text is gonna fly behind, but it's the same image as the background, and so it's gonna look like the text is just appearing. So I go to this other slide, make sure that you're on the morph transition, and I set the duration to about a second and a half, and I'll go back to this slide again, and I'm gonna bump up that transparency because I have the cropped image where I want. So let's take a look at where we are now here's the effect appearing on the screen. And there you go. With enough practice, you can get this down to just a few seconds within PowerPoint, something that would take you a good amount of time in After Effects. So I hope this interaction is helpful for you.